Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this brand new series last week on the channel. It's been so much fun so far and we started with a brand new team again this week courtesy of your kind nominations that went into that roulette wheel and we came up with a team of six Pokemon which was absolutely fantastic to kick the week off. Some real favourites of mine in this team this week and if you've missed the two episodes so far this week and would like to check those out do go back up here. I'll link a card for you. You can check those out and then come back into today's episode because we are on day three of this week's team which means one thing we can activate those bonus buttons so we've got the legend maker the switch up and the randomizer button that we've got access to today and we've had some really great nominations i did ask you guys in last episode which button you'd like to see activated and we've had pretty much all three buttons nominated so after thinking about it last night, I really feel like we probably need to activate all three buttons and I'm going to do that before we get into today's episode because I think we're so close with the results and I kept a promise at the start of the week or I made a promise at the start of the week that we would get over 1500 by the end of the week and to do that we're going to have to make some drastic changes to the team. We've been so close so many times in matches but we're just lacking that final little bit to get us over the finish line so hopefully with a few changes today we can make this possible and we can do it by the end of the week. I mean come on getting over 1500 it's a starting point i can't believe i'm saying this but it is going to be a lot of fun along the way it's been a lot of fun up to now so i'm going to activate these three buttons the first button that i'm going to activate is going to be one that i think pinko nominated yesterday early on yesterday morning was the legend maker button so we're going to activate that right now now I have to nominate a Pokemon from the party which is a little bit sad. The Pokemon that I'm going to nominate is Articuno. We haven't really made the most of Articuno in this team. It's got a very cool set. Couldn't get it working and I just feel like we want to go down more of a trick room route with the team in general. So I'm going to nominate Articuno and hopefully we get a restricted Pokemon that can bolster us up a little bit. Give us a, an advantage against things like Kyogre, Groudon and Rayquaza that we're really struggling with at the moment and give us just that little bit extra to get us over the finish line so Articuno you're nominated I'm gonna smash the legend maker button and we'll head straight over to the wheel right now we'll see which restricted Pokemon we're gonna have access to we get, we get pure and black okay I'm so hyped about this I'm so <laughs> hyped about this so we've got cure and black now in the team it's going to give us exactly what we need to deal with things like Kyogre that have been so problematic for us. We've got that Fusion Bolt, we've got Ice type Stab, we've got Dragon type Stab if you want. I'm going to come up with an idea of how to build this into the team and we'll see if we can get it working. But at least we've got now two restricted Pokemon. Thank you so much to Worm's Eye for that suggestion you can see on your screen right now. There is Worm's Eye suggesting you cure and black on into this week. So. As I say, we're going to activate all three buttons. The next button that I am going to activate is going to be the switch up button. We've got to nominate another Pokemon, unfortunately, out of the party. And that is going to be... Oh, this is such a tough one. We need the Trick Room. I think, Tapu Bulu, you're going to go. You have been putting in the work, but not really as effective as I needed you to be. So let's throw you into the wheel and see what we can get out of the wheel hopefully it's something good let's go over and see what our switch up is going to be this week so here we go we get mega Ampharos. mega Ampharos is the pokemon that we get in so we've got two pokemon that we can we can now use as mega pokemon maybe we change the tyranitar into just a regular tyranitar rather than the mega titar and use ampharos as that mega fits perfectly with our trick room as well right okay now the randomizer this is a bit risky but i am going to stick by what i said at the start of the episode we're going to activate that randomizer button i'm going to smash that right now we've got to randomly select a pokemon from our party to get rid of now, like I said, this could backfire pretty badly, but we'll see what happens. We'll do this now, and then we will select our brand new Pokemon to bring in for that nominated Pokemon that we're going to ditch for the rest of the week. So here we go. We'll go straight over to the wheel. Bye. Tito, my favorite, my ward. Oh, okay. I don't know. This is... <laughs> I feel like it's backfired completely now. <laughs> oh, 
I don't like this, guys. <laughs> Can we just rewind this back and not do this? Okay. Right. Well, we've got rid of Tito. That is so, so sad. We're going to go straight to the wheel and hopefully get something good in place of it. Okay, so here we go. Wheel of Fortune. Select us as Pokemon. Okay, we get Perline. I yeah, I mean, it's got it's got fake out. Uh, it's got it's got fake out. I guess that is good enough for anything. And it's a dark type as well. It's weird how we get rid of one and then get another one in. It's not a fix. I swear. I've got the weird animations going on, but I I do them on a wheel, online separately and record that. So if you guys ever want to see that raw footage, then to know this isn't made up. You can, I can, I can post that at any point that you want. So let me know. But okay, we've got the team. We're gonna go straight over now into the battle box, and we're gonna see what I've put together. Going into this week, so the new team. After activating all three buttons this week, we've got Chimeko. We've kept that little ninja, so hopefully he can still do some work for the rest of the week. We've got the Cure in Black now. We've got the Mega Ampharos in the party so it is taking the place of tyranitar we've got the necrozma there kept from always we've got sylvian we've changed the the spread up the setup a little bit and then we've got the purloin in there so the team is always is down in the description below if you want to check it out or try it out let me know what you think of it and um we will get straight into this episode today the music is on so i guess we just need to hope we can get some results with the team i feel like the fake out that we've got with the pearl line now really helps us out so hopefully we can get this trick room mod going a little bit better as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content do remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and do leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on the bonus button activations today do you think i went a little bit too far by activating all three or do you think it was the right thing to do and i'm sad about losing i'm sad about losing tito i really am but hopefully we can do all right without it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent of the episode. We're going to search right now. I've got the music locked in. If it takes a little bit longer than usual, I'm just going to cut from right now. And we'll come back when we find our first opponent. And we've got a first opponent of the X episode. We've got XC. So we'll hop straight over into team preview. So our first opponent today is running a team. If we can get into the right screen. Excuse me, guys. Buttons not working. So our first opponent today is running a team of Kyogre, Rayquaza, Crobat, Tapacoco, Celesteela, and Incineroar. So you've got that Rayogre combination with the Tapacoco support. Crobat there going to provide Tailwind support, his support, Taunt support as well. So we've got to watch out for that. Then we've got the Celesteela there. It is going to be something very solid to help th support the rest of the team. A Steel type obviously immune to ground type attacks as well. Um, and then the Incineroar with the Intimidate. Now, now, Curan Black here looks like it could be incredibly strong if we can get a Trick Room up as well as the Ampharos here. So I think Trick Room here for us is definitely a way to go. I'm going to lead off with Chimeco and I'm going to lead off with Purloin as well uh, for that fake out. And then I think, uh, did we just go Curan Black and then Ampharos? My opponent's not got any sort of ground type attack. Maybe on the Rayquaza, but outside of that, then there is nothing. So I think if we can get a Trick Room set up, if the Electric Terrain is up, we're in such a good position to start chucking out damage and ripping through this team. So I think this selection looks good. Can we get off to a win to kick us off today? And the screens are working. The screens are working. So here we go, XC. Good luck, my blonde friend. And uh, let's see if we can get... I feel like we can do some stuff now, you know, the fake out support that we've got from the Purloin helps us out like massively, like massively. And the Z trick room we've got on the Chimeco does help out a lot. Now they can taunt us, but at the same time, what are they going to do after they taunt us? Uh, we just Z trick room, don't we? So it's going to be, it's going to be all right. We can definitely get a trick room up. Um, now. You've got to imagine that the Crobat does go for the Taunt into the Chimeco. I'm going to Z Trick Room for sure with Chimeco and I'm going to go for that Fake Out into Incineroar. 
And if we do see the taunt from the Crobat, we've got the Encore from the Purloin, so we can actually utilize that the next turn, lock that Crobat into taunt if it does go for it this turn, which does help us out lots. And then we can get something like Amphros onto the field um, and start just causing havoc, I guess. Um, Mega Amphros, such a cool Pokemon. It's like definitely one of my favorite Mega Pokemon. Just never gets used. There's the taunt. Boosh. Excellent. Here we go. But, Incinero does flinch. And here we go. Chimeco putting in the work already with this Z Trick Room. Gonna guarantee that we get it off. We can't utilize our Hypnosis, which is a little bit unfortunate. But at the same time, we get the Trick Room set up. So, we cannot complain at all. Um, now, do we do we uncall the Crobat, or does the Crobat just switch out? Because that's maybe something that we do see, and it, it's kind of dangerous uh, switching in. I'm gonna actually switch in Amphros right now, and I'm gonna go for a Charm into the Incineroar. I'm not really too worried about the Crobat. I just don't want to switch in Amphros, uh, take a bunch of damage from the Incineroar. Um, if it decides to go for a Darkest Lariat or something like that. So just... Oh, we can't do it because... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I forget that it's a dog type. We're such an idiot. Oh, that sentence didn't even make sense. We're such an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, we're going to see the taunt from... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We'll kind of get away with that a little bit. Uh, let's Mega Revolve. Let's Thunderbolt and let's bring in uh, Curan Black for Purloin and let's really get these uh, these Trick Room Pokemon in action and try and start doing some stuff. Curan Black hit the field, Terra Volt, Bursting Aura. So here we go, Mega Amphrost. The Snarl's not really helping us out too much, um, but we will be slaughtering this Incineroar in the Trick Room, which is a huge help to us. So get this mold breaker going there's a thunderbolt i don't expect to pick up the knockout uh, minus one which we don't you do just miss out there's another snarl coming out um okay really not helping us out here at all this incinero is a pain with snarl there's another taunt coming out okay right well crowbat just locked into that taunt good job we didn't didn't carry on um i'm gonna fusion bolt the Incineroar just to get some damage onto it. Good job we didn't uncall the Crobat because it was pretty pointless. It's just kind of uncall locked itself. And let's see if the Crobat switches out. At least if we get rid of the Crobat though, uh, it means my opponent's speed control is gone for the rest of the game, which is which is really nice. Um, what we're going to see this Incineroar go for just another Snarl. Amphros actually avoids this time, which is fine. Um, so we should get some nice damage on to the Incineroar now with our Fusion Bolt. We aren't intimidated, so it should still be doing decent enough damage. 50% would be ideal. Oh, it's not quite. Not quite. Okay. <sighs> Bit underwhelming. But fine. Let's see what my opponent brings in. Is it going to be Kyogre? I don't know. I don't think Kyogre doesn't like facing down either of these. Requires that definitely doesn't. Um, but it is the Ray. Big Bad Ray. Okay. Uh, we've got Ice Beam and we've got Dragon Pulse. So we can double into it for sure. Uh, unless it is Assault Vest, of course. And it can do it can do some decent damage to us. But we will go for that Ice Beam and we will go for that Dragon Pulse. The Ray might protect here, but I mean, at the moment, the Incineroar is not causing us too many issues could start flare blitzing but we are dragon types so it's probably better off going for its dark type attacks uh we're just going to see the rayquaza mega revolve turn into mega ray if it does take like uh, we'll we'll know if it's assault vest straight away or not by the damage that we get off with um amphros um oh, it does protect okay that's fine okay so we're going to see another snarl i think Okay, we probably need to reset a few things here. Uh, it's just difficult because is Amphros like minus three now? Minus three? I'm not too sure. That mentions turn back to normal. Now, can we switch? Uh, it's difficult getting our trick room back in right now. Um, and because we are oh, minus three Curum, 
minus three and frost. <sighs> Not so good. Um, I think we'll bring in Purloin for Amphros and we will um, do we bring in Chimeco just to reset you know like if we can reset things Chimeco might be able to actually take a dragon uh, it's not gonna take a dragon ascent I don't know if that's what we'll see though we might see an earth power into the Amphros for sure that could definitely be an option uh, for my opponent the Rayquaza I think it's it's more important to keep our restricted than anything else um, and there's a Dragon Ascent, and this this requires is now weakening itself. It's going to be into Chimeco, so we will lose our speed control for sure, but at the cost of getting our Restricted out to get our Restricted back in, it's that's invaluable, really. It really is. We'll probably see another Snarl here um, from the Incineroar. It's gone for a U-turn, which is interesting. Uh, Pillar ain't going to be able to just about take that. Um, and you've got to imagine the Kyogre will hit the field now. Yeah, Kyogre. Kyogre! Um, and I think what we'll do is we will... Um, yeah, we'll get Amphros in. Because the Incineroar is still to come in. I would imagine the Rayquaza switching out anyway this next turn. Uh, we've got active Fake Out this turn, so my opponent probably protects... Protects the Kyogre, brings Incineroar in. I would imagine that's probably what their their goal is here. Um, so we'll fake out Kyogre. And if we fake out Kyogre, do we fake out? We fake out the Ray. I'm gonna fake out the Kyogre, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for. Do I go Thunderbolt or Dragon Pulse? Hmm. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt into the Ray because I think it switches out. I don't think it stays in. I mean, it could stay in and go double protect for sure. That's definitely an option. I would think you'd want to get the Ray out though after getting rid of the Chimeco. That would be my best guess anyway. So let's see if we can close this one up with a Mega Amphros Curum. Okay, so we're going to see Kyogre switch out. Again, we're going to see Incineroar hit the field once again. Okay. Does the Ray just protect here? Probably does. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like it was too obvious to go for the Kyogre there with an attack from Amphros into that slot. Um, yeah. So, I think what we'll do is switch Purline out. We'll bring Curum Black in and we'll go for a... Do we just go for a Protect? Yeah, I'm just going to Protect Amphros because there could be Earth Power on that Rayquaza and we don't want to get ourselves caught out by a fake out Earth Power into that slot. Um, if we can get Curum Black in for free, that would be that would be super nice. And now with the, the the Delta Stream gone, it makes it easier to deal with this ray for sure. We might see just a, an extreme speed. There's a fake out. Yep, yeah, into the Amphros and an extreme speed. Yep, yeah, into the Curum Black. Man, it does so much damage, doesn't it? It really does so much damage. Um, hmm. I'm going to switch Curum Black out. I'm going to bring Purloine back in. And I'm going to go for a Dragon Pulse into the Rayquaza. Because I think you may Dragon Ascent the Curum Black slot. Just to make sure you get rid of that. Um, ah, it protects. Okay, that's fine. We'll probably see a Snarl come out. Yeah. Perline should take this. Just, just about. Perline crit. Okay, Perline hanging on. Um, now the ray. Now the ray. What do we do with this ray? Um, hmm. I've got to fake out the Incineroar. The ray can't protect here. So I could Thunderbolt or I could Dragon Pulse. It's likely going to switch out, isn't it, into Kyogre. Um, so I could Thunderbolt it. Or I could Dragon Pulse. Like, minus one Dragon Pulse, it still should get it. I'm going to Dragon Pulse. It's a bit safer, I think, just to get rid of the Ray. Oh, but my opponent disconnects. 
I'm going to claim that as a, as a victory. We might get three games in today then, guys. That's a bit sad. I don't know what my opponent would have done there. I think it was definitely 50-50 who could have won that. My opponent may have been in a better position there. Then we were, but I think, I don't know. I'd still feel confident that we could take that game. It depends how that turn played out. If my opponent left the rate in, I don't think they had a way to get Ampharos. So we get the Dragon Pulse onto them. They're minus one, we're minus one. The Dragon Pulse should pick up the knockout there, I would imagine. It's not a Salt Vest Ray, we know that, um, because of the Protect. So I think we probably get it with Dragon Pulse there. If that happens, then we've got Curran Black to come in, which just absolutely wrecks Kyogre, especially with the Assault Vest, and then it's just dealing with the Incineroar from there. So I think we might have been all right. It would have been very close, but I think we would have been okay, I reckon. But we've got our next opponent, so let's hop straight over into Team Preview, and hopefully we can carry on this winning streak that I'm going to claim from that last one in this next one. So our next opponent is running a team of Lunala, Groudon, Tapu Lele, Medich Mega Medichamp, or maybe just Medichamp, uh, and then uh, Nilego and Salamence. So we've got two potential Megas in this team. We've got the Medichamp and we've got the Salamence there. Um, we've got the Lunala and the Salamence providing speed control for the team. You're probably looking at something like Scarf, Tapu Lele there, um, Groudon and Lunala are going to be the big hard hitters of this team now. Lunala is a bit of an issue for us to deal with for sure. I, I'm going to lead with Chimeko and hmm. What do I lead with? Keep my Chimeko in the back. Sylvian and Purloin's not bad because if we see the Lunala come out, we can chip the Lunala with Purloin, uh, Sylvian combination. Uh, if speed control comes out, we can lock stuff into that. Uh, and then I think we definitely want. Curum Black in this match and probably Chimeko uh, to get a Trick Room up because my opponent looks pretty weak to Trick Room um, and we'll bench Necrozma here so uh, yeah we'll lock in with these and we'll see how we get on in this next one and hopefully we can pull out a victory because that's what it's all about because um, what are we what are we this week four, four losses so four losses one win at the minute as we stand if we claim that last one is a win which i'm gonna i think we're entitled to claim that last one is a win i'm definitely claiming it claiming it so if we can make it four losses two wins or four losses three wins in today's episode that would be incredible so we're all gonna see the tapu lele <coughs> and the lunala come out for my opponent we can't utilize our pranks there. We can't utilize a fake out from Perline, but we do still have access to foul play, which is which is pretty huge for us. I'm gonna go for a shadow ball into Lunala, and I'm gonna go for a foul play into that slot as well. So, see, hopefully that will be enough to pick up the the knockout. We're gonna see a Moonblast come straight out from the Tapu Lele. It's gonna be into the Perline, take us down to our magical sash. And is Lunala going to go for a Tailwind or a Trick Room? Tailwind. So we do... Yeah, that's fine. Um, if we can get rid of the Lunala, it would be incredible here. I don't know if we're going to be able to. See what the Foul Play does. Does a nice chunk of damage. That's probably in range for a Shadow Ball now. The only problem doing this is we are opening the door for my opponent um, to get something like Groudon onto the field, which it loves the, the, the speed control, you know. It loves, it thrives in that condition. So that's the only issue that we've got here, but we'll see. We'll see what they bring in. Getting rid of the Lunala is is the big thing for us. Um, it's a pity we can't utilize a charm <coughs> from Perline, but um, I'm gonna protect Sylvian here for sure. I wonder if it's Eruption Groudon as well. That makes things a little bit more difficult for sure. Um. Right, I mean, we could Psy Shock. Uh, probably not going to really be doing very much to the Garden, even in Psychic Terrain, to be honest. Um, and I don't think keeping Purloin is going to be the best plan of action now. I don't think we can stall out four turns of Psychic Terrain until that kind of is over to utilize Purloin, unfortunately. I'm going to just go for a foul play into the Groudon. If we can get it off, that'd be amazing. We know the Tablilla is scarfed. Ah, oh, but it is. It is withdrawing. 
if by some chance this Groudon goes for Precipice Blades here, it could miss. And Perlon could get a sneak attack off. Does go for it. Come on, Perlon, be a ninja. Where's that ninja when you need it? Come on. <laughs> okay, Perlon going down. But this does open the door for us to get our Shimeko onto the field. Hmm. Yeah. Now the Groudon's kind of forced to go for a fire punch into this slot if it wants to get rid of it and stop the trick room. Um, I'm going to switch Sylvia now and I'm going to bring Kiram in. And I'm going to go for Z trick room. Or do I just protect? Mm, protecting. No, I'm going to go Z trick room right now because if we can get it up, it means we can start hypnosis putting things to sleep, which gives us such an advantage going into the the ladder turns of this match. So let's see if we can do some stuff. Terravolt. There's a sludge bomb. Yep, into that slot. Your salt vest helping us out so much. Come on, Chimeko, please take a fire punch. We take it! We take it! Chimeko is the one! <laughs> Chimeko, you're so good! <laughs> We're in such a good position now. We are in such a good position. Okay. I'm not going to say we're in an amazing position. I feel like we're in a good position. Um, it's still not. It's still not a done deal. Uh, Earth power and psychic. What's going to protect though? Um, I'm going to Earth power the Nihiligo for sure. Um, and I'm going to Hypnosis the Groudon. Let's see what, what my opponent does. They probably try and protect around this stuff. So, Chimeko getting the trick room up. Groudon protects. The Nihiligo, I don't think we get with an Earth Power, unfortunately. Well, it just protects. So, we're going to have a free a free Hypnosis this next turn, which is amazing. Um, or we could pick up a knockout onto something. Um, we could actually go for the Groudon. If we wanted to, um, but I don't want to give the I don't want to give the Nihiligo a beast boost. That's the the big thing here. Uh, I think you probably switch Groudon out. Um, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Well, a Hypnosis and a Psychic should get the Nihiligo. I'm gonna actually just go for that double up. It's just whether or not the Nihiligo switches out to Tapu Lele, but I think out of everything, you want to protect the Groudon. It's too restricted. No! Oh! Okay. Not the best. Not the best at all. We should have just stuck with Hypnosis. Why are you keeping the Nihiligo around? I guess. Uh, okay. Well, we do some nice damage there. Substitute from Groudon. Okay. Um, I don't mind that too much. The psychic terrain does disappear. Um, now my opponent's big prerogative is going to be trying to get around the the trick room for sure. Um, let's go for a psychic into the Groudons. Oh, I don't think that's going to pick up the knockout at all. We could put the Tapu Lele to sleep. Just I kind of want to get rid of the Tapu Lele to be honest. Um, I think the Groudon may protect here. It might not as well. The other option we've got is going for uh, the Hypnosis into the Tapu Lele. Okay, we're going to see the Tapu Lele withdraw. We're going to get a Fusion Bolt off into this Nihiligo. Maybe the Groudon does protect. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah. It gives us more opportunity to go for the Hypnosis, I guess. Um, I think my opponent wants to keep the Tapu Lele definitely around for, for the late game when it comes back in um, and protecting this Groudon is probably the best thing they could have done because it means they've got more time to like we've got one turn of Trick Room left now uh, they just double protect but I think we have to double into the Groudon um, do we go for Hypnosis uh, into Nihiligo I don't think so I think we try and Psychic break the sub on the Groudon. I just don't see the, the sub breaking with Psychic. Maybe it does. I don't know. Chimeco might be strong enough. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough to get the sub. I really don't. But we'll see. If we can do it, we can get some decent damage off into it with Curum. I think Nihiligo definitely protects here. Yeah, 100%. Um, 
It's all about whether this sub breaks or not now. Come on, break the sub. Please, Jimmy, go. It's too weak. It's too weak. I mean, this will definitely break the sub. The Guardian's going to get a Precipice Blades off now. Or maybe a Fire Punch would make more sense. Oh, it goes for another substitute. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for um, another Earth Part into Groudon. We'll protect... How do we go for the Nilego? Do we go for the Nilego? The Nilego. Yeah, we'll go for the Nilego with an Earth Power. We'll protect Chimeco. Hopefully the Groudon goes Fire Punch into that Chimeco this turn. Oh. What is this? Ah, uh, yeah. Kieran Black is going down. We're going to see the Rocky MZ. Didn't really expect this from the Nihiligo, but I think this is going to be too much for uh, Kieran Black to take. We are Assault Vest, but still, this is a pretty strong Z move, and we're not at full health, so I'm going to be very surprised if we can take this. Yeah, no way. And then the Fire Punch comes out. I think the substitute's what really did it for us here and then <laughs> Chimeco being so weak uh, I think we got a little like we guessed a little bit wrong on a couple of our trick room turns to allow the ground on to get the sub up it's really kind of saved their bacon and let them get through the, the trick room turns whereas now we're not really in an amazing position to really do anything we can side shock into the nine Lego and we can try and get a trick room up but it's just a simple five punch sludge bomb now especially after the beast boost so that will put us to Five losses and two one win. Oh, oh, Sylvian actually takes that. That's mad. I didn't expect Sylvian to uh, to survive that. That's pretty strong. And fire punch coming out. Imagine if you press. It. Oh. Ah. Oh. If we just protected Sylvian, <laughs> we could have protected Sylvian, and then we would have been. I guess in a bit a, a little bit of a better position we wouldn't have been in a winning position at all um, yeah let's just there's no way the crowd on doesn't take us out you can't oh well we get the psychic let's see how much this does tonight Liga. oh it actually it picks up the knockout on Nihiligo well done Chimeco uh, we're not going to stand up to the ground on though, unfortunately, and then there is the Tapu Lele to come back in. So my opponent playing around the trick room there really well. We just didn't really capitalize enough uh, that we, we as we wanted to. So not picking up the win there. Good game to my opponent. And like I said, guys, um, because that first one, should we have one more or not? Now, I'm going to call it a day here. We've had a long enough episode, so we'll call it a day. We'll come back tomorrow, all refreshed, ready to go, raring to go, and we'll see if we can pull this round. So we're five losses, one win. We've got potentially one, two, three, four. <clears throat> we can pull it back. We can tie this up by the end of the week. So we will do that. I'm just going to say thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. At least we got a, a win a win today so that's good we've got all the changes going into the rest of the week so thursday friday going to be pretty easy remember there is a poll up now on the youtube on community asking you guys what selections you would like to see for the team next week so do go over there and get your nominations in for next week's team and um make sure that whatever you want remember it's any pokemon that's legal in the vgc 19 format any pokemon it can be your favorite it can be one that you've never seen before it can be just something that you would like to see fit into a team that hopefully comes out in the draw but we'll end it up there have a great rest of your day guys thank you so much for tuning in take care of yourselves and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye